Hi friends, this is Sunil Sharma over here from Speed Maths. Welcome back to my channel and today's tutorial we are going to learn how to solve Rubik's Cube. Well, what exactly is Rubik's Cube? This cube is called as a Rubik's Cube and what do I mean by solving? From this state to this state. This is what I mean by solving and believe me it's quite easy. What it requires is little patience and time. By the way, Rubik Cube was created by Erno Rubik in 1974 and since then more than 370 million cubes has been sold across the world. By the way, Erno Rubik Cube took a month to solve this thing after he created this thing. Why? Because it has 43 quintillion possible combinations. Well, did I say quintillion? How many zeros it has? 18 zero. That many combination well we are not going to take a month to solve it i'm going to teach you a method you will be able to solve it in a day yes you heard it right and with practice we will do it in a minute so before we proceed we need to understand the orientation of the cube and how to hold the cube each piece is known by its names so let's start with this piece over here this piece is called as corner piece obviously because it is in the corner and observe a corner piece will always have three colors let's count one two three one two three so likewise there are eight corner pieces in the entire cube let's count one two three four then five six seven and eight so there are eight corner pieces second type of piece this piece is called as an edge piece it will always have two colors okay so one two three four five six then seven eight and nine ten 11 12 so there are 12 edge pieces eight corner pieces and six center pieces now this one is called a center piece obviously because it is in the center so one exactly opposite to it two three exactly opposite to it four five exactly opposite to it six so there are six center pieces so remember eight corner pieces 12 edge pieces and six centerpiece observe the centerpiece now if i try to rotate the different sides of this cube let's say like this now whatever rotation you do observe your centerpiece does not change its position it remains same if you move like this or like this or like this or like this your centerpiece does not change now how to hold a cube always keep your thumb over here in the center and two fingers over here and use the tip of your fingers to rotate the cube for example in this way you can rotate it very quickly okay so this is how you have to master finger movement every face is given a name now this face will be called as right because it is to my right and to my left this one so this is right face left face similarly up face down front and back again i'll repeat right left up down front and the back okay now let's give each face a notation now if you imagine a clock here so the hands move in this direction that direction is called as clockwise direction and the opposite is called as anti-clockwise direction so this is my right face so when i say r that means you've got to move the right face in the clockwise direction by 90 degree so r now imagine a clock kept over here so the hands will move in this direction so this is a clockwise direction it is exactly opposite to this so for when i say r it is this but when i say l clockwise direction would be exactly opposite 90 degree so when i say r move right face 90 degree in the clockwise direction when I say left, you got to move left face 90 degree clockwise direction. So you got to imagine that particular thing a clock kept over. So it will be easy for you to understand. So before you master anything, you need to master this. So when I say R, 90 degree clockwise. When I say L, 90 degree clockwise. So these two movements are exactly opposite. R, L. R, L. Okay. I hope you have understood. Now, the anti-clockwise direction will be called as for this r dash so when i say r dash what i'm trying to say is move right face 90 degree anti-clockwise direction so 
R dash. So remember, this is clockwise, so exact opposite is anti clockwise. So similarly, over here, this is clockwise. So when I say L dash, I got to move it in the opposite direction. So L dash means move the left face 90 degree anti clockwise direction. So remember, R dash, L dash. Okay, you need to practice this first before we move ahead. So let's revise again. When I say R, clockwise 90 degree. When I say R dash, anti clockwise 90 degree. When I say L, clockwise l dash anti clockwise okay so let's see the movement r l exactly opposite r dash l dash exactly opposite okay likewise when i say u so you have to move this face clockwise 90 degree when i say u dash exactly opposite direction that is anti clockwise direction so this is u so similarly the opposite face d when i say d move this face clockwise 90 degree so observe u and d they are again exactly opposite so now u dash is anti-clockwise 90 degree and d dash will be anti-clockwise 90 degree observe u dash d dash they are again exactly opposite now similarly this is front face and this is back face so when i say f 90 degree clockwise when i say f dash anti clockwise 90 degree okay now imagine a clock kept over here so clockwise will be like this so when i say back 90 degree clockwise b dash anti clockwise 90 degree so again these are exactly opposite f b f dash d dash so let's quickly revise r l r dash l dash u d u dash d dash okay now f b f dash b dash now you got to master this before we proceed you need to imagine the clock kept over here and you can fairly have the clear understanding which direction is clockwise and which direction is anti-clockwise that will help you a long way when we discuss algorithms i'll try to solve this cube with minimal algorithm but still you got to master this one okay so once you master this go to the part two of this video